all right guys welcome welcome back to the imax it youtube channel massive massive respect to you guys hope all is well if you're new please do smash that like button share and subscribe and all of our members that keep sharing the contents far and wide we really have to commend you guys for doing an excellent job we have passed five thousand so keep on sharing it so we can fly maybe to 10,000 in record time all right massive massive respect but as you know from the other day we we were here covering a few individuals that could represent Jamaica and really change Jamaica um for the better in Kangakaf maybe the dark ass who knows we talked about um Burstow and we talked about um Mother Sill and we talked about a lot of other kids but you now we have an electric super winger all right he was on the the, the brink to really get a, a kickstart under uh, Mr. Potter. But as you know, Mr. Potter, they got rid of him, you know? Yes. But anyways, we're talking about Mr. Rankin himself. Dean Rankin, to be honest. Yes, his full name. Dean Rankin, at this point, 20 years old, um, was born in London and he's a right winger. His height is 160 five meters very very short and as you could see there his main place is in um the premier league to another um jamaican chelsea connection the chelsea team did well this year in the premier to prem two um coming third to be honest behind the mighty manchester city that's dominating for a couple of years well in the prem two as well so not just the premier league but the prem two so the chelsea team in the prem two not doing so bad and um definitely in the premier league they have similar qualities so sometimes it's just because the qualities in the premier league not shining but their qualities nonetheless anyways let me stick to the prem two qualities that we do have so um Dian Rankin, 26 appearances, 5 goals, 4 assists and he is amongst the starting level pretty much always 96 percent and minutes played is reliable 98 percent and the 16 goals particip participation with just one card right there so we have another additional article just to help you um a little bit further on this kid all right so the chronicle right here wrote in the time of Potter, um, Chelsea wing back Dian Rankin could be a surprise option to face Leeds United. You, you already, they marked him as a wing back because, as you know, Chelsea changed their system. But he's not just a wing back, he's actually a winger. His natural position is right wing, but he can play left wing and um, wing back as well, as you could see on the map right here um, for you guys. Okay, yes, so that's what. Uh, we're talking about anyway so let me continue um it it has not been smooth sailing for chelsea in 2023 and to to come away with a victory against leeds united graham potter will have to fight the tide of momentum the blues flattering um form has been well documented with only one win recorded since the turn of the year and one goal in the last six games if potter was um open for any kind of fluency heading into the premier league um in preparation for a pivotal champions league last 16 clash against Borussia dortmund um he would be mistaken um the week started with um confirmation that tiago silva had suffered knee ligament damage before friday saw pata reveal that mason mount would miss the clash against leeds um with um an um abdomen domin um issue and that reese james was a doubt due to tight um arm um, string all right so that's that's what i'm trying to show you so these kids are not f so far from the pack as soon as chelsea don't have that out and out one two three at least this season they have to fall on these guys but after this season it's season ends i think majority of these guys are going to step up because they they might have to sell um up to 12 players to recoup that 150 upwards of 250 million you get me and it shows you what with three or so injury they are trying to call on these guys all right omari hutchinson the the rankings and stuff all right so these guys are quality players so with all of that said just to prove to you that um they are highly rated um would you call 
all them up now or try to even start their processes because sometimes the problem is a lot of people said okay why they uh, why they have to wait so long no some of them don't even know um about how to get to, uh, get go into play for jamaica they are just eligible for jamaica so what we have to do we have to go out there and start uh, approaching these guys from now because you don't want to to make him get that start in the premier league before you're going to try and approach him because once that happens then england will start to have their eyes on most of the players them you get me because up, uh, other situation happened uh, took place and and it it, it worked out the same way and then we tried to go in for them at that point which makes no logical sense they are big time at this point um at a lower level than the premier league this is the right time to approach them so at least they knew that okay you weren't just running in when we we are on top you get me we lost out on ivan tony um obviously we approached ivan tony a little bit earlier um but we he said we never continued so we don't want these these players to get messed up because of that all right and i am telling you this is a quality player that is heavily versatile you get me but definitely for jamaica he would not be playing no wing back he would be playing um bombing winger and i think at this point this kid can give a lot um of guys run for their money in the national team so for me i would consider approaching him at this point as well i have no problem approaching him um let me know your thoughts in the comment section would you approach him now uh, would you try to get him uh, get approach him now for the national team are you want to try to bring him for more of a youth call up our secondary games that does not really really mean much so would you go for him for the um the gold cup or uh, would you have him as a target um uh, in the, sh the, the immediate future let me know let me know um dian ranking quality quality player um bossing the white right wing left wing and wing back as well and to some point i think he can even play cam um he's not the the best cam version but i still believe that he could play it all right jamaica has a lot of talents um but um at their disposal i think they have to just have the proper talent identifier and have the proper um way out to go forward and and the skies uh the sky is the limit all right yes man i think jamaica actually when i'm doing these researches and getting majority of these guys um and actually um contacting a few um i've realized that think we are the problem it's not the guys are the problem a lot of these guys would, would be willingly ready to say yes but you have to reach them at the right time you can't say when they are big time then they turn you down then you say they are not committed and they are they are not true and genuine no sometimes they're they're gonna have affinity towards england a little bit first um and so once they do see that light they are gonna always choose that light right after because england is a bigger football team than jamaica so you have to find the right balance um to approach and the this is the moment right now go and raid chelsea at this point we have a few more guys coming up around um england to bring to you guys so next week we will do that so smash the like button share and subscribe peace out and then definitely see you in the next one and thanks to the 5000 let me make it 6000 very shortly all right